Scrooge signed it, and Scrooge's name was good upon change for anything he chose to put his hand to. Old Marley was dead as a doornail. Scrooge knew he was dead? Of course he did. How could it be otherwise? Scrooge and he were partners for I don't know how many years. Scrooge was his sole executor, his sole administrator, his sole assign, his sole residuary legacy, his sole friend, and sole owner. And even he was not so dreadfully cut up by the sad event, but that he was an excellent man of business on the very day of the funeral, and solemnized it with an undoubted mark. Scrooge never painted out old Marley's name. There it stood, years afterwards, above the warehouse door, Scrooge and Marley. The firm was known as Scrooge and Marley. Sometimes people new to the business called Scrooge Scrooge, and sometimes Marley, but he answered to both names. It was all the same to him. Oh, but he was a tight-fisted hand at the grindstone of Scrooge, a squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scraping, clutching, covetous old sinner, hard and sharp as flip, from which no steel had ever struck that generous fire, secret and self-contained and solitary as a monster. The cold within him froze his old features, nipped his pointed nose, shriveled his cheek, stiffened his gait, made his eyes red and his thin lips blue, and spoke out shrewdly in his grating voice. A frosty rhyme was on his head and on his eyebrows and his wiry chin. He carried his own low temperature always about with him. He iced his office in the dog days and didn't thaw one degree at Christmas.
Oh, very busy, sir. Very glad to hear it. I was afraid from what you had said at first. But something had occurred to stop them in their useful course.
you the spirit who's coming was foretold to me? I am. Who and what are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Long past? No, your past. What business brings you to me? You're welcome. <laughs> Perhaps a night of unbroken rest would be more conducive to that end. Your reclamation, then. Take heed, rise, and walk with me. But I'm a mere mortal. I'm liable to fall. Bear but a touch of my hand there. Nothing your professors to condemn with such severity as the pursuit of wealth. You fear the world 
too much. All your other hopes have merged into the chance of being beyond this sort of approach. And watching no more aspirations fall one by one into the master passion that engrosses you, have I not? What then? You think I have grown so much wiser, what then? I did not have the case for it, have I? Our contract is an old one. It was made when we were both poor and content to be so. Until in good season, we could improve our world and fortune by our patient industry. You are changed. When it was made, you were another man. I was a boy. Your own feeling tells you that you were not what you are. I am. That which promised happiness when you were one in heart is now fraught with misery that we are two. How often and how keenly I have thought of this, I will not say. Is it enough that I have thought of it and can release you? In words? No, never. In what then? In a changed nature, an altered spirit, in another atmosphere of life, another hope at its great end. In anything that made my love of any words or values your sight. Had this never happened between us, tell me that you would seek me out and try to win me now?
No, no, there's probably coming. Hide, Martha, hide. Where's my Martha? Not coming. Not coming? Not coming on Christmas? And how did Tiny Tim behave? As good as gold and better. Somehow he gets thoughtful sitting by himself so much and thinks the strangest thing you've ever heard. He told me coming home, and then he won't keep us on in church because he's a cripple. And it might be pleasant for them to remember on Christmas when they have laid there as well.
Spirit. What place is this? A place where miners live, who labor in the bowels of the earth. But they know me. Listen. Tell it ye, and 
admit it for your factious purposes and make it worse, and abide the end. Have they no refuge or resource? Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? That you were a good wife. Everybody knows that. Oh, very well observed, my boy. I hope they do. He said, he was heartily sorry for my good wife. If I can be of any service to you in any way, here's my card. Great company. 
Now, it wasn't for the sake of anything Mike would do for us, so much as his first kind of way. It was as if he really knew our tiny Tim the double us. I'm sure he's a good soul. Oh, you would be sure of it if you saw and spoke to him. I shouldn't all be surprised, mark what I say, if you had Peter in a better situation. Only hear that, Peter. Peter will be keeping company with someone setting up for himself. Get on with you. <laughs> it's just as likely or not, one of these days, though there's plenty of time for that. But however and whenever, apart from one another, I'm sure none of us shall forget the poor time he's having, shall we, or at least people too much with all those minds. No, no Father. And I know, my dear, that when you were like how patient and how mild he was, although he was only a little child, we shall not quarrel easy about ourselves. Look at the tiny tiny No, never, Father. Then I am very happy. I am very happy. Spirit, something informs me that our party moment is at hand. I know it, but I know not how. Tell me, who was that man we saw lying dead? Spirit. This is the place where my employment is and has been for a length of time. I see the house. Let me behold what I shall be in days to come. Spirit, the house is yonder. Why do you point the way? Hmm. Spirit, before I draw near to that stone, answer me one question. Are these the things that will be, or are they the things that just might be? Ebenezer Scrooge? I'm the man on that bed? No, Spirit. Spirit, I'm not the man I was. I will not be a man before this poor Spirit. Why show me all this, if I am past all hope? Oh, Spirit, your nature intercedes and pities me. Assure me that these shadows may be washed away. Oh, Spirit, I repent, I repent, Spirit. Repent, Spirit. Spirit, I will try to keep Christmas in my heart all year long. I will live in the past, the present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strike within me. I know I will not turn from your lessons. Oh, Spirit, say that I can sponge away the writing on this stone.
saucepan with the grooves in it. <laughs> There's the door where I saw the ghost of Jacob Marley. There, there's the corner where I saw the ghost of Christmas present. There's the window where I saw the wandering spirits. It's all right, it's all true. It all happened. Well, even though I don't know what day of the month it is, <laughs> I don't know how long I've been amongst the spirits. <laughs> I don't know anything. I never did know anything, and now I know that I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm like quite a baby. I don't care. I'd rather be like a baby. Oh, oh.
over a Christmas bowl of smoking bishop pot. Meanwhile, you go and put another coal on the fire, and you go straight out and buy another coal scuttle. You do that before you got another eye, Bob Cratchit. <laughs> Thank you so much. 